But yeah, I literally had to sign an NDA. Like people are like, oh my God, what's in the shot? Like you don't want to know, you don't want it. Okay, our Woolies order arrived. Got two new charms. They're really comfy. I think I might order a bag today. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm in my little office, about to start packing orders. We got about, I'd say 50 or so done last night, which are, yeah, already at the door, waiting for Mr. Postman to come pick it up. We've got around, I feel like we have like 280 to go. So we did get quite a bit of orders, which I honestly was not expecting while we were away, just because like, you know, when you order something online, you want it like straight away. So I was really shocked at how many people placed an order and I'm so grateful for it. I actually just printed off a bunch of um, Ozpost International. So I might just do that so they can go with this morning's pickup. And then today, what are the plans? So we've got to go do a COVID test like within 48 hours of us arriving to Perth. So we'll go do that this afternoon, probably when Ozpost comes. Obviously try and smash out as many orders as we can. I need to empty my suitcase because if I don't do it straight away, it just sits there for weeks and weeks. I'm just like that. Also need to unbox all of those parcels too. So I'll get around to that. But yeah, basically priorities today is packing all your orders and getting a COVID test. So I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can throughout this week. Hopefully it's not boring, although I said that last time and I feel like my vlogs were over an hour because I was just so bored and I just picked up the vlog camera like every second. So yeah, I will do a little time lapse when Peter comes and helps as well because he knows the ins and outs of how to pack an order from start to finish, obviously. Um, so that's going to be interesting because we're going to both be like on both of our computers doing the orders at once. Busy day today and I will chat with you guys later. So we're on our way to get a COVID test because we need to get one within 48 hours. And I can't find my garage key. Hopefully the car starts. I got like a um, notification on my app, like my Mercedes app saying something like critical battery low like two weeks ago. So fingers crossed that it starts peter's got like what are they called jumper leads or something if it doesn't start just having a kombucha find them nice they found them thank fuck okay we'll let you guys know how it goes we've just tried to find a covid drive through like instead of going out but it's saying that maybe just get out here and go right because that's where it's saying it is because that would be a lot more convenient if we didn't have to go out yeah maybe just get out here go back on that road i think it's over there so okay we'll go back way. over there then and just go straight uh, until you find another side yeah, <laughs> okay <laughs> see if i can like surely i just put them there yep I might be able to see. It's fine. Turn the screen around. No, they won't be able to see. It's like in the glove box. What's this car doing? Gonna reverse? Not gonna look? No way. Okay, um, yeah, turn right up here and just wait until you see signs, I guess. But that's weird. It no, obviously it's just literally keep... saying to turn no, left. No, yeah, but you keep driving to see the next sign. So obviously, there should be another sign. Okay, turn right. I'm assuming. We are the only ones. Oh Awkward. my god, okay. Okay, wait, please do not get out at any time. Have your request form. So you don't have a request form. I was okay. asking her. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. 
<laughs> Hello. Hello. We've just been acquired to do it. We come from Queensland. Yeah. Is it? Do you know what day it is? Day two? Day two? Uh, it's no, they said we just flew in yesterday and they said to. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you? Yes. Yeah. 901. Did we send them? No. Uh, did you guys want any hot pots? No. Uh, yes. Yeah. Pardon? Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, when's the last time you had guys with this dog? Um, no, it's my 48 hour one. Same, same reason came back. Ah, uh, um, one. Yeah. This is our first day in quarantine, yeah. So it's been in the mouth first and then in each nostril. Is it, it's not going to go far back, is it? Is no, it, so... The, the ones at June, we went to June like hospital. That was so rough. And it was... I know, it, it was I don't know why. It actually, it actually hurt. how it's meant to be done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're coming here for now on. <laughs> so the old one that... Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, yeah definitely went That's uh, it's like a lightning bolt. Good yeah, enough. Uh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank, thank you. you. See ya. Was it bad? I forgot what the handbrake was. So also, it's I'm drinking off kombucha, so yeah. <laughs> literally, expect expired. Yeah, it's not going to be here for a while. It expired in July. It doesn't taste off though. That was so good. So we're coming here from now on. I reckon yeah, she, so she, went, she went deeper this time. That like that oh, tickled that was, me a little bit more. That was nice. That was nice. That, as in, that, that she was nice, I meant to <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah, she sounded She's, like Tilly from Big Brother. Yeah, she did. Uh, so she you reckon her voice? Yeah. What the fuck, Christmas stuff. Are you right? Christmas stuff is out of David Jones. You see? Okay. Well, that was all good. Yeah, because she said that I'm meant to, so that guy was fucking with me. Um, She did go deeper than my, the last one, though. Like, I did feel it a little yeah. bit at the back of my brain. Nah, that right. one, okay. My one did go deeper, maybe. I know I'm going but deep. it was all right, <laughs> right. Yeah. I know I'm going. Okay. Um, no, my one was so much nicer. Okay. Maybe because I said something, because I said last time was a Yeah, maybe bit... I'll tell her next time, because that was like a bit uncomfortable. Anyways, your one scene we're by... all good. Your one seemed a bit strict though. My one's more... It was still fine though, like it didn't hurt. Oh, she knew what she was doing. It's all good. Okay, yeah. all done. Now we've got to take one day... 10? Is it? Oh, I can't remember, I have to check. The Cancel. Fuck? Could you... Okay, I'm going to tackle this and open up all of these PR slash some stuff I think I ordered as well. I actually have already opened one that I ordered because I was too impatient, but I'll show you guys. So my green juice, I've got this cutter. All right, let's go. This one, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and like cut off the boxes as I go. So it's easier to recycle. Mm. What is this? Vere de Amour. I probably butchered that. But it feels like bubble, like bubble wrap kind of. Yeah. Oh, cute! It's a little glass. Oh my god, how cute is this? I've got something similar. Oh, it's got a little J and a love heart on the glass. Thank you so much. That's so thoughtful. I love personalized stuff. Um, I'll leave all the brands actually in the description box down below. But wow, that is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Maybe I'll put everything like here. Okay, Naked Harvest. I'm so excited because I think I know what these are gonna be. They've got new moon milk flavors and I'm gonna try it tonight. Yep, I was right. So they've got vanilla, maple chai and salted caramel. I feel like salted caramel is gonna be my favorite flavor. You can get Naked Harvest on Elite Sups. 
I work like exclusively with Elite Sup, so my discount code is only valid if you shop through Elite Sup. So my code will be on the screen and it's an affiliate code as well. But thank you so much, Naked Harvest. I cannot wait to try these. Okay, I think this one's from Morphe. Morphe brushes. Oh, cool. It's like Coke. Cherry Coke X Morphe. That's quite cool. Just got some goodies. I think it's, uh, yeah, eyeshadow palette and then lip and cheek jewel. I'm not going to open everything. And then some, um, actually, they're meant to be really good. The Morphe Beauty Blenders. I actually haven't tried them before, but I'm going to definitely give them a go. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm partly... They're meant to be really good. So thanks, Morphe. Okay, I'm going to open one that I'm really excited about because I placed an order. As you could say, I was partly influenced from influencers. Quite pricey, but I guess linen is expensive, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, and I've never really, like, splurged on bed sheets before like I usually get all of my like linen and stuff from like Adairs and they are quite like reasonably priced but this is probably the most I've ever spent on linen before so I feel like my current bed head is a bit outdated like I, I still like it but like I don't love it anymore but I feel like this on like a plain like fabric white bed head or like bed frame would look amazing but this is the pattern that I got um, it's actually so, so nice. It's just like beige checkered print. I'm going to put them in the wash actually this afternoon and maybe change my sheets or should I just keep it for when I move? So they're like all nice and fresh. Cause like, they're not going to go really with my room. Maybe I will keep it. I'll keep it for when I move, which is like really soon. So I can have like a fresh sheet set. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We've got, I'm not sure what this brand is. Oh, okay. What is this? Essential Beauty Co. LED Car Visor Mirror. What? That's actually so cool. Okay, so... This is such a cool idea. So I'm guessing that you just attach this onto the other side of your um, car mirror, obviously, and it lights up. What? This is the best concept ever. Why have I never seen this before? Thank you so, so much for thinking of me. This is the brand, if you guys want a screenshot, but oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, let's do this one. IPEC Co. Oh, these are actually really good. I've got one of these from a different brand and I love them for taking off my tan, but this is the brand. It's very, very similar. It's kind of like, what's the material? Like silk? I'm not actually sure what it's made from, but it's it feels really similar to the one that I have. And I actually have all holes in the one that I have. So I'm actually excited to have this. Thank you so much. I'll leave the brand here. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Sylvie. What does this say? The anti-acne pillowcase. Okay, love the packaging, really luxe, and you guys know how much I love silk pillowcases. Like, honestly, game changer. These are so beautiful. Look at that. You can never have enough silk pillowcases in your life, and thank you so, so much. This is actually massive, and it just feels incredible. So thank you so much. I'll leave the brand here. Can I just say, I am so grateful to, like, be even given the opportunity to, like, open so much 
mail. Like, that I don't even know what's in. Like, I just, yeah, it's just literally mind blowing to me. Okay, let me just double check that I can post this because I did sign an NDA for, I don't know if it's this product or not. I feel like this is out. But yeah, I literally had to sign an NDA. Well, I actually have, I don't do them like too often, um, but it's just if a brand just doesn't want influencers to post before they launch, you have to actually sign a contract. And if you do breach that, then you get into trouble. But I feel like this has been out already for ages. But anyways, if it's, if it's not for some reason, I obviously just won't put this clip in, but it is some of the new benefit products. I'm pretty sure it's their power made, um, brow pomade that they've just launched, which I'm super excited to try. Thank you so much benefit. Brow Co goodies, the same brand that I used to tip my brows with the other week, actually. I love their packaging. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God, so cool. Some familiar faces on there. Not me trying to see if I'm there. No, I couldn't be actually. They have just launched a collab with Face Halo. That's kind of cool. And then, ooh, they've got their Cremades. Another brow product I'm feeling is quite similar to the one that I just showed you from Benefit. But yeah, cool. Thank you so much. What I'm actually really excited for because I love P. Louise makeup and when they DM'd me I was like yes please okay firstly their packaging like I feel like if I had a makeup line my packaging would be similar to this because it's just so me so pink pink and gold I just love it okay this is quite cool so I'm guessing <laughs> try not to break my nails balls there is so much goodies in here holy shit okay okay let's just do a quick rundown for those that don't know what P. Louise is it's a UK based makeup brand owned by a really talented makeup artist and yeah all of her products just her packaging and just every even her no her products are incredible I was obsessed like when I was Back in the day when I'd love full glam and even when I was um, doing makeup as a makeup artist, I would use her P. Louise eye bases and I love them so much. So yeah, that's just like one product that I'm obsessed with from her brain and her eyeshadows are so pigmented. Um, so yeah, she's just sent me a bunch of stuff. Like just like look at her packaging. Like how freaking cool is this? It looks like a cassette. And it's an eyeshadow palette, I think. Or maybe like a cheek palette. Look at this. So freaking cool. Look at those colors. I'm going to have to do an Instagram post with these. Because, oh my god, what a generous gift. I'm obsessed. What's this? Like, so cool. Just a couple of like just so much stuff, like brow stuff. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. Like what's in here? Bag of bills. Lashes. Oh my God, they're so long. Oh, these are nice actually. I like those. I've been really liking just using like half lashes. But yeah, so many goodies. Thank you guys so much for thinking of me. I'm gonna put this aside so I can take a better photo and video later. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I've only got two minutes left on my memory card. Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills. What have we got here? 
Concealer. I haven't tried this yet. Oh my god, I've been actually wanting to try it. I feel like this has been out for ages though. The new ABH concealer. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna definitely give that a go. Thank you so much. Where is this from? Is it from ABH? It must be. They don't usually come like that, so that's why I'm a bit confused. But I'm definitely gonna give those concealers a go. I'll show you what I ordered from Victoria's Secret. I became obsessed with Victoria's Secret when I was traveling a lot and I would always go in there at the airports. And I tried, like, I think it was like uh, five pairs for $50 or whatever. Quite expensive. Well, I mean, more expensive than like your average pair of undies. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to try them, see what the hype's about. And ever since my first purchase, I'm pretty sure like at an airport, I've been obsessed. Like I, I love Victoria's Secret undies. So every single time I would go travel, I would always buy like five to 10 pairs. Um, but obviously since not being able to travel and I feel like they've closed, like, I feel like there was one in Sydney or was it Brisbane? No, there was one in Brisbane, but it closed down. So yeah, I'm really rarely you know, taking off from anywhere other than Brisbane. Anyways, I'm rambling. I did a massive online order because I didn't realize they were either having a massive sale or I didn't realize that they were as cheap as I thought they were, probably because I've been like literally spending $30 a pair on Skims undies and didn't realize that these were actually not that expensive. So I literally went ham and can confirm love. So I ended up getting like a five pack. I actually love these kinds of undies. So like I'm a G-string person. I'm getting a random call. It might be the police actually. Hello, Jasmine speaking. Hi Jasmine, this is How are you going today? Hi, good thanks. Okay, yeah, that was the police just to check in on us. Everything's all good. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, so I ended up getting like you can get like a five pack for like $30 or something like that. So I ended up getting these ones. Like I was saying, I do like, I'm a G string person. I literally wear G strings to bed 24 seven, but I do really love these boy leg ones, especially when I'm like on my period. And you know, I didn't, I don't particularly want to wear like something up my, yeah, when I'm on my period. So I like to, I don't just wear these on my period, but like they're really comfy. Like a, is it boy leg? I feel like, yeah, boy leg. So I got like five of them and then like majority of them are just like plain beige ones and they're like a seamless, they actually remind me a lot of the Skims ones. Not the fits everybody fabric, but just like the fit of them. So I just got a bunch of like nude ones. I got like a gray one, some browns, but yeah, like in that exact same sort of seamless this one's like a little bit different. If you don't want to spend all your money on skims, try Victoria's Secret because honestly, they're just as good and they're not $30 each. But the skims ones are good, not gonna lie. Ooh, Breeze Balm. I love their lip balm. Have just come out with two new scents. Raspberry Spritz and Tropical Sunrise. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with Breeze Balm. Thank you so much and this little bottled cocktail mix. Thanks guys. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Huda Beauty. There's actually quite a few parcels from Huda. So I'm going to open this one. Here's the other ones as well. Okay. I must have missed this one because I just kind of like open them all and put them all together to save some time. <gasps> oh my God, is this their new perfume? I actually really rate the um, K, K. Ali perfumes. They're actually really nice. Pretty sure you can get them from, yeah, Sephora. And I think she's just come out with a new scent. Oh, I love the packaging. Okay, ready? I just love the scents. This one kind of smells a bit more like masculine, but also sweet. Yeah, I really like it. 
I really rate their perfumes. Really, really nice. Thank you so much. So, like I said, I did just unbox like a bunch of makeup. So I got some of their Wishful, I'm actually excited to try this, Peptide Moisturizer. And then this is just their Yo Glow in like a different scent, which is a exfoliator. And then a bunch of makeup. So she's got some new palettes. Oh, trying to drop everything. These palettes. And then, actually, I'm just going to show you this photo because that's what the colors look like. It's called Wild Obsessions and a liner. And some, oh, these look good. Liquid to matte silk balm lippies as well. So thanks, Huda. Always a pleasure to receive stuff from her. I love her makeup. So I was just scrolling through Instagram like I do and I found this sponsored ad from a jewelry brand and they were using these silicon ears and I was like that's actually such a good idea and it just looked really cool like how they styled it so I went on to was it eBay or AliExpress and I typed in like rubber ears <laughs> and I ordered some so I can put um jewelry in them and take photos or is that weird like, it's a weird concept because it's, like, literally a rubber ear. But, like, I don't know. It looked really cool, like, how they were taking photos. You know? So, I ended up getting them. <laughs> oh, so random. And I also got some... These I got from Amazon. Some clear candle holders. So, I'm just a bit over my gold ones. Like, my golden um, black ones. So, I just got some clear ones that I can stick, like, my single candles in. Like that. I'll show you. I've got them over here. See? Quite cute. I'm just not sure where I'm going to put them. But like at least they just kind of like go with everything. Because they're clear. So I just think like the black and the gold ones just are a bit. I don't really like go with my house. So I got six of them. They only came in a six pack off um, Amazon. So yeah I'll try and see if I can link it down below. But they were quite cheap as well. Next one, what is this? Oh, Colourpop. That's so weird, they usually come in a box. Um, we have some brow products. What is this? Full effects, fuller brows are in full effect. Feather effect liquid brow pen. Cool. We'll definitely give that a go. I feel like I say that with everything. And then a feather effect styling wax. I'm guessing it's like a, um, what are they called? Like soap brow kind of thing. Thanks guys. Okay, battery is looking low. Luckily I've got three. <laughs> three backups. Okay, we've got this one, which I can see is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my God, what is it? <gasps> it's her new stick blush. Okay, I am excited because if you guys don't already know, I feel like I've said I'm like loving cream products recently on my face. Let's give this a, that's nice. <gasps> like obviously imagine that blended in, but that's actually so, that's such a nice color. Okay, I blended it. Oh my God, that's so nice. Holy shit, the packaging is really nice as well. Thank you so much. She sent me all her colors. <gasps> Wait, what are these? Dripping in gold. Oh, stick highlighters, yes. Cream, cream bronzers, oh my God. It's like they just know. Okay, this one, let's have a look, golden tan. I feel like this would be more my shade. Oh my God, these feel so nice. <gasps> oh my God, yeah. That's the product. Oh my God, so excited. I feel like I want to do my full face of makeup again. <laughs> Thank you so much for thinking of me. Holy shit. I feel like I haven't gotten PR from them in ages, probably because I literally don't do any like makeup stuff anymore. I've pre-opened a couple boxes. Ooh, what is this one from? Me. 
probably stay inside the box to be honest. Love that color. Little makeup. Oh my god. Okay, cute. I thought it was gonna be a makeup brand. It's actually not. It's called Me. I can see like tampons in here. That's so cool. So obviously this is just like a part of the PR, but Me regular tampons with organic cotton and ultra thin regular pads. So random, but I mean, it saved me from buying them. So thank you so much for thinking of me. That is so cool. I love your um, branding. I love it. Next is from a brand called Oka Lane. It looks like a small business because it's wrapped to perfection. So cute. I love all the little details. We've got a cute comb, some hair clips, and then, hey beautiful Jazz, we hope you love our little gift and package new frames from our latest clay collection. Sunnies, I am a sucker for sunnies. I'm obsessed with them. Okay. I feel like they're gonna be like a tortoise shell frame. I feel like they're gonna be like smaller type glasses, just judging by the case, I reckon. Yeah, I was right about the tortoise shell. Oh my god, these are cute. Let me just carefully take this off. Okay, what's happened? Oh my god, I literally can't see my viewfinder from having these lenses on. Like it goes black. That is so weird, like literally. My viewfinder is black, and then I can see me. That is so weird, but these are so cute. Like I literally can't even see what I look like. I feel like you probably think I'm going delusional, but like my viewfinder goes black when I put these lenses on. Does that mean I can't see myself in the mirror? Oh my God, it does go a little bit funny. Like I can see myself, but it goes a bit like hazy. That's so trippy, but I love these. They're cool. Thank you so much. Okay, we're slowly getting there. We've got a package from Mecca Max. I think it's to celebrate their new skincare. There's so much goodies in here. I've heard that they're... Um, SPF is actually really good. Yeah, we've just got like a cleanser, an exfoliator. Um, what's this one? Hydration serum, clarifying mask, overnight mask. Little goodie pack from Mecca. Thank you so much. The next package I'm actually quite excited for. I've heard about this skincare brand basically all over Instagram. It's from Dr. Naomi. Um, I don't actually know like who she is. I know that sounds really bad, but I've just seen like so many people rave about her skincare. So I've got the, if anyone has these and they're really good, let me know because I actually do want to try this brand. Let it be hydrating serum. I'll just show you. So you can screenshot these. Yeah. I've just heard really good things about them. Catfish blurring eye cream. I actually need a new eye cream, so I'm gonna try that. Super oil to brighten, even, and balance skin, and a hydrating serum to rehydrate, plump, and glow. I almost just burped <laughs> when I said that. We hope you enjoy this gift from Dr. Naomi Skin. Let us know your feedback and if you'd like a top up. Thank you so much. Which PR agency, brand, etc., sent me this? Thanks, guys. Steph Pace Planners. This is massive. This is the new, oh wait, please do not share these products prior to when they are live. Oh, 19th of July. Okay, we've got a massive monthly desk planner. I love my weekly one. I use it all the time. I actually haven't really planned that much since I got back, but I'm definitely gonna have to try and get back into it. Well, I'm gonna not try, I'm gonna have to because I've got work. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. These are from Steph Pace Planners. She's got the most amazing planners. And if you don't follow her, she is actually like 
the most organized person I follow on Instagram. Like her house is goals. Ooh, Fenty Beauty. Oh my God, I love their gloss bombs. And they've of course sent me every single bloody shade possible. My favorite is Fenty, no. Is it this one, Fenty Glow? This is my favorite, this one. It's so nice, it's like a cream. It's like their cream formula. That one looks really nice too. Fussy glass slipper, obsessed. Thank you, that's actually so cool. I'm gonna keep it like that. The Royal Nut Company. What? Unless it's like peanut butter. Otherwise, what else could it be? Oh my God, yum, I love this brand. It's from the brand Noya, or is it Noya? so bad at pronouncing things. Holy shit. Okay. There is so many spreads in here. Okay, wow. We've got, pretty sure they stocked this brand on um, Low Carb Emporium actually. We've got some cashew butter or cashew spread. No, it is cashew butter. Cashew butter. We've got some Royal Mixed Nut Butter. I'm just gonna take them out of the packaging later because I'll be here literally all day. ABC Chia Butter, Almond Butter. ABC Almond Butter. Oh my God, yum. Crunchy Almond, oh my God, yum. Macadamia Butter. And some Hazelnut Butter, yum. And then we've got, oh, we've got a little note. We hope you love our nut butter just as much as, as we do. We appreciate your kind support. You made my day when we saw our almond jar on your vlog and we knew we had to reach out. We have also included an extra goodie from our Royal Nut Company store. Have a beautiful day. Stop. Pine nuts, yum. I love putting them through my salads. And some dark chocolate hazelnut vegan are they peanuts? No. Are they peanuts? And I've just said dark chocolate hazelnut, yeah. Okay, yum also. And we've got some nutty sesame bars. Oh my God, these look incredible. What? Yum. Thank you so much. That's such a generous little gift. A small one. buy this but it was out of stock so Lauren Curtis which is another youtuber oh my god that before and after holy shit um have just launched her own mascara and I've just got this little cute PR package thank you that's really cute definitely gonna try this out Maybe tomorrow I'll do my makeup with all of my new stuff, vlog it. Yeah, I might do that. It's a date. I'll do my makeup and try all the new products that I got. And try this. Okay, cool. Cute. We have got a... Ooh, organic candles. Hi, Jazz. I'm sending you this gift as a longtime follower who adores you and your influence. Stop. A couple of candles. Let's see if I can. <gasps> These candles, what? Oh my God, look at the jar. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. I love these. Thank you so much. I love candles, clearly. I'm obsessed. It's this one like blue. It reminds me of like a, like a cup almost. Oh my God, that one's so nice. And then we've got, oh, this is pretty, a white one. They all smell so, so nice. Thank you so much. All right, we've got some top-ups of Urban Brew. We 
which is my decaf coffee pods that I have. Yes. They always send a cute little um, quote. You never lose, you win or you learn, reflect and enjoy. Cute. So yeah, bunch of decaf. Love their stuff. And I do have a discount code, which is not an affiliate link or anything. It's just for you guys and it's Jazz 10. Yeah, I think it's Jazz 10 or maybe even Jazz 15. Try them both. All right. Oh my God, Bounty is my favorite chocolate. We have a Lano Lips new lip balm. And I'm guessing the scent reminds them of Bounty. Let's give it a go, shall we? I don't think I've put lip balm on today. Yeah, it is a bit. Yeah, it does have that like bounty, bounty kind of taste. Yum. Thank you guys. We have Waterproof Legit Lashes Mascara, okay. I feel like they've sent me this before, or maybe it wasn't the waterproof one. Yes, yeah, so they've got a, which is actually quite good, to be honest. Okay, well, I've got like a mini version as well, and then a liner. I have makeup for days, don't I? Thanks, guys. Okay. Couple more. I'm so confused. I feel like I just got the Magic Touch concealers. Did I not? I swear I did. They've accidentally sent me um, a smaller version of the concealers. I have like two last packages well actually three technically this one i think i know what it is because i've seen a couple of influencers unboxing it on the gram it's from move with us which is rachel dylan's um app how do i open this so Jazz, it's time to discover a new way to move with our new merch. We hope you love these new items from Move With Us and Rachel. Okay. It's literally like jam-packed, filled with, I'll bring the camera around, like gym equipment. So we've got like a barbell pad. We've got some ankle weights here. Like I feel like I've, I already know what's in it because I've just seen so many stories. What are they? I don't even know what they are. Skipping rope. Yeah, skipping rope. Some resistance bands, a yoga mat. How cool. Some straps. That would be handy for the gym, like when I go back, because I feel like they're all so shit at the gym. So I can bring my own. Thank you so much, guys. She actually did give me a free membership to our app as well. So I'm going to see if I can try and um, do some of the workouts with some of this equipment. Love. Okay, last one is from Freddie Jeans. I didn't think I'd get to the end, to be honest. You should see what my floor looks like. Okay, what are these? These are cool. I don't know if I, oh, they like a bit shiny. Oh, whoa, they're flares. Hey, they're actually cool. These pants, and they're flared at the ends. And then I think these are white ones. I might like these. Oh, whoa. It's like leather, like, not leather, like, it's not vinyl, but it's like, yeah. They're cool. These are um, not flares. They're just like normal white pants. Thanks, Freddie. Yeah, these are cute. I like those. I'll try them on. Um, that's it. 
I'm not even joking. How long did that take me? Oh my God, you don't even want to see what's behind me. Oh, I didn't look too bad, but that's all the, <laughs> that's all the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> At least it'll give us something to do. But yeah, that is everything. It's going to give me something to do. Um, I still have like around 200 orders to pack, but I thought I'd just get that out of the way just so it wasn't chilling on the bench for so long. So I'm going to go and sort out all of this recycling, make homes for everything on the kitchen bench, and then get back into packing for the rest of the day slash afternoon. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make for dinner. Maybe like a chicken, chicken and veggie stir fry maybe. I kind of feel like something like that with like oyster sauce. I don't know. I'll have to look at what's in the fridge. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it didn't drag on for too long. I'll try to edit it so it's not like an hour. But I feel like it'll be a solid 20 minutes of this vlog. But you guys like when I unbox all my goodies. So I'm going to go and do what I just said I was doing. And talk to you guys later. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I don't know why I've got my AirPods in right now, but I haven't vlogged today actually. We just smashed out all of the orders that were made obviously when we're away and we're up to date. We're fully up to date. It's like 5 p.m. But um, I've semi unpacked my suitcase as well. I still need to do like the other half of my second one. But yeah, just a really productive putting shit away day. I've done all the recycling from the unboxing that I did. Like everything's all nice and clean. So yeah, that's basically what I've been doing today. I'm just about to go and do a workout. And did I, yeah, I did show you guys that move with us package that I got from um, Rachel Dillon. I'm gonna do one of her workouts today on the app. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I think it's like a lower body Today's workout, um, oh, full body. Okay. Starting off with skipping and then doing like a full body workout with dumbbells. Yeah, I'm going to go and do that. Peter's currently training outside as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go chuck my AirPods in. I might actually put you guys on a tripod so you guys can see what I do. And yeah, that's all. I still haven't had my green juice today, but I'm going to have that after. My, that can be like my post-workout smoothie. Yeah, I didn't obviously vlog today, but I had, what did I have for brekkie? I had, um, oh yeah, protein oats. And then lunch, I had barramundi, rice, and broccolini. And yeah, that's all I've had. So I'm going to go and get this workout done and I will chat to you guys later. <laughs> Wednesday I'm just in the jewelry room about to fulfill your orders if you got an email yesterday there was a sneaky discount code and some of you took advantage of it I think I've got like 48 orders or something overnight which is good um, yeah so I'll be doing that this morning we have a um, Woolworths delivery actually it should have been now nine nine six and it's nine twelve maybe they're running a bit late but yeah we ordered um some food yesterday to pack these up i need to um order a pickup through oz post but i might do that after i finish i've got an hour to do them and yeah i might even actually work out 
like during the day because I've been working out like sort of like at five and it gets like dark and it gets cold. So I'm going to work out after this. Um, I'm going to do another workout from the Move With Us app, not sponsor or anything. They did gift me the workouts on their app um, along with all the equipment that I got. And I did a workout yesterday and it killed me and I actually really liked it. So yeah, I'm going to try and do a workout every day this week. Well, not every day. I'm going to do six days and then I'm going to have like a active rest day and still try and get my steps in. <laughs> I'll just walk around the backyard just to get my steps in. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I need to go put my Apple Watch on charge because I want to wear that today. Literally got like 1.2 kilos of it. Some chicken, beef mints. I just got some ham to snack on. Some broccoli, capsicum, egg whites, carrots, garlic. How lazy am I? Like, look, they're already peeled. Mm. Um, these are yum. These little veggie chips. Pretty sure they're like kids' ones, but I like them. Some more of these. And then the milk chocolate ones. Some pita pockets. Something dip. What's this? these toys? Bricks. Oh, you can that. have them. I want that. <laughs> mum. Oh, I've got one of these as well. Okay. What are they? I don't know, you know, they do little giveaway, they do giveaway things. Um, I don't know. What? You literally get one Lego in here. Really? I don't know, it's oh, like, you a put, few. Yeah, you put this on it, like the stickers on it. No, you build a you build a Woolworths. No. Look. Oh. Hey, is that so we're getting the little thing that they go in. Is that four pieces in this one? These are fun. Yeah. Please. <laughs> so I'm doing that. Oh no. Okay. What's that? A basket. I got some organic eggs for me. What? Some more oats. I didn't realize I had two. I'm gonna have to check that, but they're on sale, so. That's why I got them. I got some chickpeas, because I'm gonna make some more hummus. It's yum. <laughs> Onion powder, some spaghetti. Oh, new look. Oh yeah, didn't it used to be green? Yeah. The master That's food nice thing. Yeah. It looks a bit like um, the home brand, don't you reckon? Like the packaging? And then just almond milk, because I've already got some. And that's it. I'm just making some toast with avo. I left my every night at mum's. I'm gonna have to like come down here. Yeah, I left my every night at mum's and I'm like low key sad about it because I just, I don't know. I'm just so used to the taste of every night. Vegemite seems so strong. So I'm gonna have to order some online. So Vegemite, Avo, and then I've just made some eggs. It's literally midday, but I just felt like it. I just couldn't be bothered thinking of something to make for lunch. And I just felt like this. So this is my lunch. I just made a coffee as well. Yum. Like two eggs. 
but I mean, it is. There you have it. What are you doing? Huh? I film mine. I'm not time. filming. I'm not filming. I'm yeah. getting ready. I'm getting ready to film it. You have to. Don't film me. I'm not. How they do this little swirl thing? They go over the pasta. <gasps> Stay so filming. When can I start filming? Are you done? No. What else do you need to do to it? <laughs> so you filming me do this? Why is the red light on? Ah, oh. uh, come on! <laughs> Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. This week is going so quick. I'm like, kind of here for it because that just means we'll be in ISO shorter. If I feel like it's going quick, I don't even know where I was going with that. But yeah, it's just going so quick. I slept in, um, I washed my hair and I slept in like braids last night. So here's a little way that you can make your hair look nice and beachy or wavy. I kind of love it. I'm going to do my makeup today using the new products. I think I might film it on stories. But I'll probably film it on the vlog as well a separate time. Um, by the way, this is from Make It Harvest. I always get questions asking where it's from. Um, you can get it from Elite Sups and you can use my code if you want. I'm gonna open a few packages that I got this morning. I ordered some, wait, let me just clear some memory on my memory card, one sec. Okay, I got a package from Stacks. I have no idea what I Cause I got, um, already got their new collection. I ordered, yes. So I got the black because I really love the white version. Like it's really flattering and like super supportive as well. So I got the black. Um, I wear size medium in the crops now. It just is a little bit more comfortable and not so like tight. And this is the high neck black one. Oh my God, I'm gonna wear this today. Love. And then, what are these? Maybe the bike pants? Not gonna lie, I don't know about this on my body type. Like it looks amazing on the people that I've seen it on, but I just don't think that this kind of waistband is flattering on me. Like I tried them on and I was like, I just prefer the best black tights, like just the ones without the waistband, but the crops are next level, I love them. I'll try them on anyways. I just, I think I got sent the booty shorts and I just would never wear them in a million years. Like they literally were like, they reminded me of boys undies. That's how short they were. Girls can pull them off. Like they look so cute with like oversized tees over the top, but this could be cute with an oversized tee. Like that's what I would wear like these mini bike shorts with. But I just, I'm not sure about this. Just being completely honest. Um, crops though are amazing. So thanks Stacks for sending. Actually I might keep them. They're really um, handy for traveling, like putting all your dirty stuff in. When I was in the Gold Coast uh, last week, I went shopping with Riley and we tried on a few shoes from Novo, but they don't have the colored styles um, in store, so I couldn't buy them. So I went online and I got them in the colors that I wanted, but they, this style are so comfy. I'm not sure when or where I'm gonna wear them, but I bought them anyways. They're actually not too bad price wise. I think they're like 60 bucks each or 70 dollars each. Anyways, I thought these would be really cute with my bag. How cute. And they're actually, like I said, really comfortable. They've got obviously a thick heel, but I love them. They're so cute. And then I got a yellow pair of the same. Cute, cute for summer. Summer vibes. I'll try one of them on. Oh my God, they're so comfy. Yeah. I would definitely recommend going up half the size. Usually I'm a size like seven and a half, usually, but I went an eight in these. <gasps> How cute are they? Probably can't really see properly, but. How freaking cute are they? That's a bit cool wearing like mismatched shoes. I wonder if that'll ever be a trend. And if it does, I started it. You saw it here first. That actually does look cool. 
not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, they're the two shoes that I got, love them. Also, these are from, I've got questions asking on my Instagram. They're just from UGG. I got them last winter. They're the comfiest slippers, but not gonna lie, I've like rolled my ankle in them quite a few times. Well, not fully rolled my ankle, but because they're like platform. Yeah. Okay, I just finished packing orders for the morning. I'm gonna have my herbal concoction. The reason I've got it in that is because it's lighter than the actual glass jar that it comes in, but this is the same thing. I'm still not used to it. Like, I feel like this is something you can't get used to the taste of. It's fucking rank. Like, people are like, oh my God, what's in the shot? Like, you don't wanna know, you don't want it. <laughs> you don't wanna be having it, trust me. <laughs> Obviously, if it's gonna help you and it's prescribed to you for a reason, then you're gonna do what you're gonna do, but it's, yeah, it's really bad. Um, okay, I'm making oats. I've been having my brekkie late, like this week. Like, what's the time? Like 11 o'clock or something? Still don't have a clock. <laughs> um, I think it's like 11. But yeah, I just don't feel hungry. And like, why am I gonna eat and like force myself to eat when I wake up and I'm not hungry? So I've just been like eating whenever I'm hungry and that's at 11 o'clock. Um, what else do I need? Protein. I need to cut my strawberries as well. I'm in the process of choosing a bed. I think I know which one I want, but it's like, yeah, it's really expensive, but also I've always wanted it. So I was like, why not? Because so obviously I'm going to get rid of all like the furniture that's in the apartment now. Maybe I'll have one more. Yeah, um, probably like put it on marketplace or something. And also like, I'm probably gonna sell like most of my furniture that I don't wanna take with me here as well. Like, I don't know, do I take the dining table? Like, is it worth taking it in a container or just like selling it and then buying it again? So I really like it. And I feel like marble will go really well in my house. I just, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work. Like obviously I'm not gonna take the couch. I'll take my little armchair, but most things I think I'll just sell and like just buy fresh stuff. By the way, this is the set from Pangaea. It's literally the comfiest, coziest set ever. And I've got stains on it already. I've probably worn this like the past two days. That's probably why, but yeah. What else? I think I might order a bag today that I, don't, I mean, I don't need it, but would it look cute? Yes. Order some stuff from Mecca, which I'm excited to get. Ooh, I was supposed to see here apparently, BRB. Never mind, it was a uh, pickup <laughs> for the parcel. It was me thinking that it's a delivery. What I was saying was, I made an order from Mecca last night. I ordered. Obviously unnecessary stuff, but I've seen Martha from Married at First Sight. She's so cool to follow for like skincare and makeup tips. She like raves about the these face masks from Estee Lauder and they're $120 for four masks. Like how good can they be to be so expensive? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try them because she raves about them and I'm gonna compare them to my James Cosmetics ones because I feel like I just, I can't see why they would be so good, like it's just a sheet mask. So anyway, I bought them. And then what else did I get? Now I can't remember. Okay, let me just mix in my protein because... What else did I get? Oh, I got a tinted moisturizer as well. I swear I got something else cool. I can't remember. Anyways, you'll probably see me unboxing it in the next couple of days anyways. But yeah, I'm just like intrigued about the face masks. Like how can they be so expensive? Like what is in them? I don't know. I've just, yeah, I was so shocked at the price. But anyways, I will give you guys a review. Get rid 
of this. I'm over it. I just want less clutter in my house. What is that? Okay. Strobes. Um, what I've been doing is adding a bit of milk. These are so good. The dairy-free like chocolate pieces from Tana. Just gonna put a few in so they melt. Yum. Oh wait, I do have some muesli as well. Let me pop them on. And then this is some like organic muesli that I got from a health food shop. There's my brekkie, and then I've got my coffee. Holy shit, yum. I have to have this. <sighs> no, 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 no. It actually tastes like toxic. Like it's, like it's something that you should not be drinking. Oh, fuck. Guys, so as promised, today I'm going to share with you how I fold my bed linens. And basically what I do is I bundle them all together, as you can see here, into like yep. a little package. If you okay. Want, just just okay, okay, okay. Just show me how to do it. <laughs> Corners of both sides. It's just the elastic edging of Probably the edging on the floor, but... And then what you're going to do is simply take <laughs> you know? the other two corners of both sides and you're going to tuck them up inside the corners of the top, just like so. You might have to give it a little shake. Wait, what? And lay it out yeah, inside the corners of the top, just like so. You might have to give it a little shake. As soon as you feel like things are pretty much even, I feel like that does not look like hers. What you have to do is bring that up again, kind of going forward. It's a bit more of a rectangle, I guess, than a square, but it's symmetrical. So you're bringing up the bottom in toward the middle, and then you have the same finish, the same bulk. And then you'll do the same with the other side, again, toward the middle. And what you'll notice a little bit is that this might be slightly bulkier than up here. Not by a lot though. And you'll take the bulk and you go perfectly. I feel like perfectly that's just how I would do it anyways. On the bulky fitted sheet. So with your fitted sheet, I, I get that. get that nicely packaged. To be honest. Just set that aside. And then the next thing that I want to quickly show you is how- Anyways. I ended up doing my makeup on stories. This is what it looks like. It's just really basic, but yeah, I just used a bunch of new products. Why is there something on my screen? I literally can't see myself, but I am gonna go and do a workout. I think I might just do another move with us workout from the app. I enjoyed it the last couple days. I'm actually making, oh, I put it in the bin, a smart protein bar cookie. So that's in the oven. I literally found like 10 of them in the back i didn't realize i had them and i was like oh my god what's about these are out of date and they're not so yeah i'm gonna have that as my little like pre-workout snack and then after my workout i'll have my green smoothie i've had my genora today what am i gonna have for dinner what do i feel like i had pasta last night you saw that was actually really good that peter made me what do i feel like tonight Maybe some like chicken pita pockets or something with like salad, chicken. Maybe I'll have that, a couple of pita pockets with chicken. And then I'm gonna make a bath tonight, I think. I'm gonna run a nice hot bath and just relax. I need to scrub off my tan, so I may as well just do that in the bath as well. And then reapply a new one. But yeah, that's what I have gotten up to this afternoon. I need to start editing this video and yeah it like hailed today <laughs> i was like so shocked on my stories i just did not expect it to hail like it was raining so hard and then it just started hailing and i was like what the fuck i haven't seen hail in like ages i feel like it does, doesn't like regularly hail in perth i feel like i've never seen it here that's why i was so shocked someone was like why is it such a shock to you that it's hailing i was like 
I don't know. I just haven't seen it at all. <laughs> Anyways. These have got three minutes left. Surely they're ready. Yeah, we will take them out. I'm so excited for this. Maybe I'll get actual mitts before I burn myself. nice and hot because it's freezing that is so good okay i'm gonna finish this and i'll speak to you guys later guys look how cool this is they're kind of low key well not really because p is not that color but like in dim light, it kind of looks like, <laughs> why am I saying this dehydrated? It's not dehydrated pee, but like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of vibe, but it's still cute. I don't even know what bath bomb it is, but that's me for the night. I'm gonna scrub off my tan, take my makeup off, cleanse my face, and that's it, and then make some dinner. Hey guys, happy Friday. I literally haven't vlogged all day. It's actually 5 p.m., although, Peter got all of the photos for Depop. I'm also selling some of my shoes as well. Like some of my Air Forces. Like I just, I love them, but I just don't wear them. Like these are so cool, but I just don't wear them. Like my Powerpuff Girl ones. These ones are literally worn once. I've got some like Nikes and stuff. But may as well give them to someone that will wear them. So yeah. Put a bunch of stuff up on my Depop. I'm just making my green smoothie. And I just realized I didn't even make one of these yesterday. I didn't even realize. So I prepped a couple of days worth. I need this and a knife. Let me just put that on one sec. I'm just gonna put half an apple in. What have I done today? Um, to be honest, nothing. I literally caught up on some YouTube vlogs, like watched YouTube. Um, I like planned out my month using the Steph Pace planner that I got. I feel like today went like really quick. Like I got up at like 7.30. Uh, the first thing I do when I get up is uh, fill orders fulfill orders and that takes me about like half an hour to an hour depending on how many there were overnight i'm not sure what i want to do um on the app there's a upper body workout but i don't know if i should do that or do like a cardio just like a hit workout just to get me really sweaty because i feel like with um weights you're not necessarily like burning heaps of calories not that that's like my priority but like i just feel like after i do a weight session sometimes i'm not like puffed i know you're not meant to be because like you know the aim of a workout isn't to burn as many calories as you can like obviously but um yeah like the past few days my workouts have been like obviously weights based and i haven't really i don't know you know when you just like do a hit workout and you just feel fucked after. <laughs> I haven't gotten that feeling from doing those workouts yet. I love oranges. So I might switch it up and do like a YouTube hit workout or something. Or like a body attack style workout, you know? Just to like get me sweaty. Because I need to wash my hair anyway, so... <laughs> May as well get sweaty. Funny story today, um, my couch that I ordered for my apartment got delivered. Well, attempted to get delivered. Let me just blend this one sec. Let me fill this up. That's what I'm missing, banana. I was wondering why my smoothie the other day tasted like shit. Okay. 
Here's my little afternoon snack. Um, yeah, as I was saying, funny thing happened today. So my couch attempted to get delivered to my apartment on the Gold Coast today, right? And apparently it doesn't come in like two sections. It just comes... Because I ordered like an L, like an L type shape couch. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but I thought it'd come in like sections and you like build it. No, it comes in one. It's just one thing. And it didn't fit up the stairs. So they were like, yeah, well, we can't actually like get it to your um, apartment. So they said alternatively, we're going to have to get people to try and lift it over the balcony to get it in my apartment. I don't know how that's gonna work. Like that's quite high. So they're gonna to attempt to do that tomorrow and if they can't, like, I'm literally gonna to have to return it and get a different couch. <laughs> like, I didn't even realize, I didn't even read the description to see like how it came or if I had to assemble it or, yeah, it's just one big couch and it's like, it's not really that big. It's a 3.5 seater, but I guess like because of the shape of it and it is quite bulky, I think. I just didn't even think of that. Like I literally didn't think of that. So fingers crossed they can somehow get it over my balcony. Not sure how that's going to work, but um, they said they're going to try. <laughs> I need to get out and do something because I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. Because I've just been on the couch for the past like two hours. You know when you just like sit and do nothing and you just feel so tired? It's cooked because I'm just like, I've just came from literally being on my feet doing shit every single day for like six weeks to just like not walking anywhere. It's just like even just walking I miss, you know? Like I wish we could like do a lap around the block, but obviously... We can't because we're in isolation. Anyways, it's only for the next, how long do we have? A week and a half. We're half, no, we're not halfway through. On Monday, it'll be halfway. So like kind of. This week did go really quick though. Like really quick. So that's a good thing. Okay, I ended up doing um, a random hit workout with, Wait, hold on, let me just, I filmed some stories as well. That's a bit cute. Um, why isn't that saving? Link down below, but it was 30 min full body crusher hit workout with weights and just dumbbells. Cause I just typed in like hit workout with dumbbells and it was a 30 minute one. It was tough, but like, it was just what I needed. Like I worked up a bit of a sweat. By the end of it, I was like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> but like, I'm glad that I did it. Um, this music still coming out of my headphones from YouTube, but yeah, I'm glad I did it. This is the new stacks. So this one's the high neck one and it obviously has a zip. It's quite supportive. Although I wasn't like jumping around in it, but holds them in quite well, to be honest. Oh yeah. I also found these, um, New balances that I got from Princess Polly. You know how like everyone is like into new balances recently. Are these cool? I wore them. They're quite good. But yeah, Princess Polly like literally three years ago. Uh, I feel like I'm actually cramping up from that. He couldn't open a jar of sauce. It's the hardest <laughs> jar ever. This is my dinner. Pita pockets with chicken, avo, red onion, lettuce and cucumber i would put tomato in there but i ate it all that's me yum let's try it it's like falling apart hmm. hey guys don't mind my appearance i'm still <laughs> I'm still in my pajamas and it's literally 12.30, but I have been working today. I have been taking photos of my ear because I've had these like new arrivals in for a while, but I was gonna originally um, drop them with the summer collection, but they don't really go with the vibe of the summer collection. So I was thinking I'm gonna do like a mini drop 
next week, possibly next Thursday. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of the new stuff. So all of the, like in this little collection, it's just going to be 14 karat gold. So we'll have like obviously yellow gold, white gold, and rose gold for all you solid gold lovers. Honestly, I would recommend 14 karat or even nine karat gold over the Vermeer if you're going to wear them 24 seven and not even worry about, you know, taking them out before you shower, like. Yes, the Vermeer pieces do last really well in the shower because they are like plated with a really thick gold plating, which is actually all real gold. So all of our like plated pieces are all covered in real gold. So it's not just like a plating that's colored gold, if that makes sense. So that's why they last really well um, for those that do have um, the Vermeer material. But honestly, like if you want to have your pieces forever, Solid gold is always the best option in my opinion. I personally, in all of my cartilages and like little piercings, I wear 14 karat gold. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some of the new pieces that I got. And I'm actually really liking these black inserts. What do you guys think? I feel like they just make the pieces pop a lot more. So I'm actually considering next time I reorder my jewelry boxes to order black inserts. Like it wasn't really my vibe, but like, look how I'll show you guys, it just makes the pieces pop. So we have got two new charms. I love this so much. I've wanted to make this into a charm for ages. Um, it's actually made of real pearl in the center. And then the other one is just like a little mini drop pearl. Real freshwater pearls in those two charms. Again, only available in the solid gold options. And then my favorite piece is definitely the one that I've been wearing in my last lobes. It's just this one here. So it's like a little mini flower with a little drop pearl. And then the back of it, it's gonna be so hard to show you. I'm not sure if this is gonna be in focus, but the back of the earring is my favorite because it's got a little add-on like pearl row and you can just put that on the back of the rod before you secure it with the ball this is actually completely optional like you don't even have to wear it with it like you can literally just slip it off if you don't want to it just comes like this it's really hard to show but it like literally just comes in like a row of pearls like that so you could probably even like it's got a little um hoop so you could even just put them on like the huggies that you already have if you don't want to put them behind. But I just like really love it behind, see? And then it's like a little drop pearl moment. I'm gonna actually put that in. That's quite a good idea. Well, I actually like that. So that's what it looks like just on a huggy or you could just any sort of sleeper or something that you have. So yeah, that's one of the pieces I'm obsessed with. I love having it behind. I think it's just really cool. And I always get heaps of compliments um, when I've got it in. Like, oh my God, love that earring. So yeah, that, and then we've got the, oh, I don't have it in, but these lightning bolt studs. So they'll come in the clip backs, so you can wear them in your lobes, or they also come in the ball backs, PS, I am trialing flat backs and fucking hell, it's such a mission to get perfect because I don't want them too big, like the flat backs, I don't want them too big and bulky. So I'm still sampling them. So hopefully the next time I come out with like studs like this that you can wear on your cartilage, there'll be flat back options. Fingers crossed. I actually ultimately want um, like the screw on from the front so you can like change, um, all of your earrings over like you just have to buy like the front bit and then if you've got the rod you know what I mean so that's like my plan so hopefully that happens but um yeah I'm also trialing flat backs as well I'll do a little comparison to like the other um piercings that I have so in comparison that's the little flower and then it's pretty much the same size as all of my studs they're all like mini size um, so yeah, that'll be available in, again, solid gold, all three materials, and they'll come in the six mil ball back and then the clips as well. So you can wear them on your lobe. So that is it. These are just huggies that are already on the website. This is the Aphrodite and then the Bella huggy, which we also did a little mini restock of. Also did put a bunch of these online 
and I wasn't going to, but like so many people were DMing me. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to put them online. And they're like sold out almost. I think I've got like two left of each color. So I'm going to have to order some more in, but these ones are also fresh water pearl on a nine carat chain. And we are doing more of the angel pendant necklaces, but without the angels. So I've got another little logo that I've got on there. So they are coming. Um, cause these are, yeah, another really popular style necklace. Um, but yeah, enough of me rambling about that. I'm super excited to drop these. There is a limited amount of stock because I just wasn't sure if you guys would like it. But yeah, obviously I can always order more. That's no problem. But yeah, there'll just be a limited amount of stock for these couple of pieces that'll be dropping next week. So the rest of the day, I'm going to take more photos of the pieces in my ear, edit them, upload them, get everything all ready on the website, which takes a couple of hours. It's just so fiddly doing like the description and like putting them all up on Shopify. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing today, to be completely honest. I've been organizing packaging for our acrylic bag chains. I'm so excited for these. I freaking love these. By the way, I did end up um, buying a new bag. So I'm really excited to be able to put some of the color. Like I feel like they would just go perfectly with it. So like I, that's how I could justify it. Um, so we're going to be having, I think it's five colors. So blue, pink, yellow, orange, green. I think that's it. Blue, pink, yellow, orange, green. Yeah. And they'll be available in two different materials. So this is the gold plated and then they'll be silver. So my Balenciaga bag is silver, like the detailing is silver. So I haven't been able to like play around with that and put these on it just because it looks a bit funny. But like, I guess if you like two toned, you can totally do that. But yeah, but yeah these will be available in two different um, finishes. I think these ones will be dropping with the summer collection, which will be I'm hoping end of November. I still haven't got, I still am waiting for a few more samples. And as soon as I get them, I'll be putting them into production straight away. Um, but yeah, there's like some chunky earrings. What else do I have? Another necklace. Um, yeah, really excited to drop these. These are super fun, super summery. Um, and you guys have been asking for them and they're just like so cool. So yes, that is the plans. Also, would you guys be interested in different um, phone charm designs? Because I only have this one for now, but I've seen so many cool ones, like, like an all green one or an all orange one or an all pink one. I've seen like those kinds of phone charms and I really like them. So I might sample a couple, but yeah, these are really popular as well. This style, like I think I've honestly sold over 400 um, phone charms. Yeah, they are really, really popular. And I didn't, I honestly didn't expect them to be so popular. So yeah, they are really cute. I've literally had this on my phone ever since I got it. And how long has that been? They're really good quality as well. I'm really grateful that I found a good manufacturer for these. But um, yes, that is all from me. I'm going to stop rambling. I still need to edit this vlog. And I have a feeling it's going to be over an hour. <laughs> Anyways, that's all. I will... Chat with you guys later. Is it recording? Hi. I'm making, um, this one's yours. Rice paper rolls for dinner. I'm having a mixture of chicken and mint and Peter's just having chicken. Honestly, so good. Well, this one's a bit wrong. I just put a fake tan on it as well. What do I look like? It's weird, like not seeing my um myself. <laughs> Have you zoomed in? No. Oh, I thought you were doing something funny. Okay, so stuffing. Can't believe you want me to put carrot in. You feeling okay? Why? I thought you didn't like carrot too much. Just don't don't really care. This is like, these are definitely like not the it. ingredients <laughs> that you meant to put in a rice paper roll, but like. Yolo. Can't you put anything in there? No, but I swear, like when I get them from rolled. These aren't the ingredients they put in, to be honest. But these are all what we had. Oh. See, some of them turn out good. Some Pressure of them just down. turn out. Oh, this one's gonna, this is going to be wrong because there's a cut in it. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you're made of dodge ones. <laughs> okay. 
turn it. Oh! Sure, I'm not using that one. Why? It's annoying yeah. when they do that because you can't do it properly. Good. It can't be too rough. No. They break really easily. You have to make sure that the, um, what's this called? Tea towel is like damp underneath as well. Otherwise it'll be a mission to roll. Okay, we'll do one of mine. I've got a mixture of chicken and mint. Actually, no, we'll do this first. Tomato, avo. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what they put in the, um, the ones from rolled. I can't even think. Oh shit, I didn't put sauce in them. I don't want sauce, so I'm gonna dip it. I guess we it. could just dip it, yeah. They don't put sauce in it in general. I usually do. No, they don't. As in, like, you buy from the shop, I don't really? think they have sauce in them. You oh yeah, buy true, the they sauce. come with a dipping sauce. So you make yeah, yours cute. better? Yeah, cute! Gal, try and make yours good. How <laughs> sweet is that? <laughs> Fuck. Relax. I'm doing dude. it. Dude. Okay. <laughs> You need a bigger thing. Yeah, I know, I don't have one. You're gonna break it again. Get <laughs> rough you are. <gasps> I'm trying to like get it all. It's hard. We do have a bigger bottle, just so you know. Where? <laughs> I'm saying it's in there somewhere. Oh well. I probably should have got more, um If this is mine to probably surely this time. I I am I am doing them properly. Honestly. Don't know zooming on that again. <laughs> That one's just wrong. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling this one's gonna be a good one. Yeah. This one's really good. Oh shit. I get too confident. Oh, this one's yeah. yeah, this one's really good. <laughs> one. How many do you want? Keep going until the chicken's done. So, one more. Mm -hmm. This is my masterpiece. How good. So quick and easy as well. Nice. Good morning. I'm making pancakes for brekkie. Haven't had these in a while. I put some chopped chips in them as well. These ones are so good. Dairy free. Oh shit. That was too early. Yum, I'm so excited. Here is my masterpiece. A little coffee. How good. Yum, I've missed this. Let's give it a taste, yes. Yep. Happy Sunday. I don't know if I vlogged today. Oh no, I did. I vlogged my pancakes, but that's all. I haven't really been doing much today, actually. I just packed all of the Depop orders, packed some Jazz Handmade orders. We're gonna go work out. Didn't you say you wanted to work out at like two o'clock? <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. I think I'm gonna do Pilates today. What are you gonna do? I'm what? talking to you. I don't know. <laughs> you think I wasn't talking to you? I was going Um. Mm. Yeah, I think I might do Pilates because I'm actually really sore from all the workouts that I've been doing this week. So I might do Pilates, but I just realized I haven't ended the vlog. So I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.